please leave some to here and today I'm doing another episode of Lisa's Kitchen and I'm going to be making cornflake squares. What you will need is so for tools and equipment. I have a bowl. Mine is pink, as you can see. And I just have a spoon. Um I only decided I was gonna do this a couple of minutes ago. Look at my nail polish. That one's falling off. And that one. I um, I only decided that I was gonna do this a couple of minutes ago. So if I need anything else. I will grab it. I'm kind of making this up as I go along. Nah, well, I've made this before, but not with marshmallow fluff. Which is the next ingredient. Marshmallow fluff. My good old marshmallow fluff. I use this in the s'mores as well. And you're going to need cornflake cereal. Let's get started. You're going to start off by putting in some cornflakes. As I said, I never, never made this with, with my cornflakes. So, I'm just going to say about this many and add more if you need more. You can't actually see. Just add it in this many. Now I'm going to add in my marshmallow fluff. Spoon, scoop it up. One giant heaped spoon for now. There. I had to do that. It's a matter of life or death. I'm just going to get another little spoon to scrape it off. See, it's not oozing off, yummy. Yum yum. Yummy 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 yummy. See, I'm a good singer, right? It's really sticky as well, so it does not come off easy. Um, see, it's all sticking to me. Nice. Scrape it on the side if it will not be good. I won't be using this spoon again, so I'm just gonna mm. now I am going to get a wooden spoon if I can find one. But if you can then it's all good. Choose a spoon. This has now become my eating spoon. I had to do that, there was too much. Okay. So you're just going to stir it up. It doesn't matter if the cornflakes get crushed because it's kind of the whole point. It will stick to your spoon, but just gotta keep trying. And if you need something to scrape it off with, then that's fine. Can I've already licked my spoon, so I'm gonna have to get another one. Just push it off. I'm not actually amazing at guessing measurements a lot of the time so you will see throughout the video if I add any more or any less of anything I think I may need to add in some more marshmallow fluff I'm not too sure you can also use melted marshmallow um, that is what actually what you're meant to do, but I thought seeing as I've already got marshmallow flour, it's not a marshmallow in a jar, isn't it? So yeah. You're going to keep stirring it and like crushing them up until everything has started to clump together and you can 
squish them. Wait, there, that was completely wrong. You can grab a pinch and squish it into a shape. That's when you know it's done. Mine will not go into a shape. So I'm going to keep stirring. And I'm going to add some more marshmallow fluff. So I'm going to get a spoon, push everything off. And... Yeah. I'm going to add another big scoop of marshmallow fluff. Another big scoop. Scrape it off. Wrong spoon. Scrape it off. You will actually get used to um, scraping it off eventually because it is hard work at first, but then it will start to fall off the spoon once it's been messed with a bit. Do you know what I mean? No, not a lot of people do. It's alright. So I've just added another scoop. This is what it looks like at the moment. And I'm going to stir it all in as I have been doing. Um, so sorry if this video gets kind of long, but I do not edit or cut my videos. They're completely 100% natural. And I'm going to keep on scraping my spoon every so often so nothing gets too unstirred. I don't know. But keep on mixing, mix it all up. And if you've got any cornflakes that are just not completely edged in, then. I did wash my hands before I started the video, just saying quickly. Yeah. Comment down below any other videos you want me to make. And I will do my best to make it happen. And comment down below as well what kind of videos you want me to do. Some of you enjoy my tutorials, some of you enjoy my baking videos. Some of you just enjoy it when I sit down and talk. Like... I don't know, comment down below what videos uh, This is a really easy recipe because it doesn't take heat and it doesn't take any sharp or dangerous tools. So you could do it like, like little kids, you could have a little brother or sister or a cousin or even daughter, I don't know. Um, help you with this, or son, or daughter, or brother, or sister, or cousin, or niece, or nephew, or just anyone. Because literally, you just need spoons, cornflakes, and either melted marshmallow or marshmallow flour. Um, comment if you want me to make a video, or just tell you how. In fact, no, scrap that. I'm just going to tell you how you do it. You just need to put a bit of butter in a saucepan, let it melt, just like a little knob of butter. Once it's melted, you're going to add in, like, some marshmallows, as many as you like. It depends on how much cornflakes you've got. Um, and then you're going to melt that, and then you're going to slowly add in your cornflakes to the saucepan, or the saucepan to a bowl, it's up to you however way you do it but either way you're going to mix them together and yeah and then you're going to put it into a dish or put it into cupcake cases or shapes however you want to do it put it in the fridge for about an hour or just until it's hardened and set and that will be that my mixture is done well show you the scoop of it. This is what it looks like. It's quite sticky and nay gloppy and stuff. I'm not very good with my words today. Wasn't me. You will tell, you can tell when it's done because it'll all start 
to stick together and when you stir it it will just go around the edge of the bowl like mine is doing now then you will push it all into the middle and then now you're going to decide how you want your shapes I will show you one method and that is using sorry that you can't see me one second Second, you can still hear my voice. Cupcake cases. This is really, really sticky. You can spread out a few cupcake cases, just normal paper liners. Or um, I have these little silicone ones here. My camera just cut, and I don't know how much of that. Okay, so my camera just cut. But these are my silicone ones, little pink silicone ones. I take a scoop about, uh, let me see, about this big for the big paper ones, which are this big. So you grab a scoop, put it into your cupcake case, or wrapper, or paper, whatever you want to call it. Can push it down either with your fingers or with the back of your spoon and it will look a bit like this. So now I'm just going to do my other two because I've already done two, which equals four. So again, you're just going to grab a scoop, push it into the cupcake case. If you think you need to add more, get more. If you think you need less, just take a bit out. Add, it, add as much or as little as you want for your preference. Third one. And then our last one out of the four I'm showing you. You're going to get. Again, same process. Get your scoop. Let a bit of it fall. That's fine. Push it into your cupcake case. Press it down. I think I need a little more in there. And that is my four paper ones. Now I'm going to show you my silicone. For the silicone one, you're going to need a little spoon instead of a big spoon. And I'm going to just grab it. Just a little tiny amount. Oh, okay. This is all in a bowl. That is too much. This is failing badly. Just going to push a little bit in. And because that was mostly marshmallow, I'm just going to get a few cornflakes. And then I'm going to crush them up so they're kind of like dust. And then I'm going to put them over the top. And that. Is my silicone one. So thanks for watching. Comment down below if you prefer using Rice Krispies or Corn Flakes. And if you prefer to melt marshmallows or use marshmallow fluff. Comment all your preferences down below. And any any uh, videos, future videos you want me to do. So all that's left to say is thank you and goodbye.